road show. That's what the aviation workers in Lagos choose to call its protest as a round of the two-day warning strike in an attempt to draw public attention to poor working conditions and entitlements in the country's aviation industry. Unlike the first day of the protest, airport activities and vehicular movement on the busy airport road are not disrupted while the protest ensues. However, administrative offices are closed for the day. The movement culminates at the international terminal of the airport. We workers have stakes there, and we are asking. The minister himself in 2019 followed the workers to wages and salary commissions. This issue up to now is not still resolved. What is happening? The fight is not targeted at various management. It is for where these documents are to be released. We want it released. And the issue of demolition be halted. You cannot demolish people where people are occupying their offices. The Secretary General of the National Union of Aviation Transport Employees explains how their concerns are being handled. We are aware a meeting is ongoing at this moment, uh, convened by the National Salaries, Incomes and Wages Commission. And uh, uh, since we are not party to it, we cannot say for sure what is going on. But it's our hope that that meeting will produce a positive result and that at least one leg of the protest, which is the outstanding conditions of service for the four agencies, will be ratified and released for implementation. It's a warning strike and the unions are hopeful that it doesn't go beyond that. While aviation unions have resorted to strike as the best tool to press home their demands, it is certainly not good for the industry.